For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBank UT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with the Madden Ultimate video. First off, thank you guys so much. I just posted a video. We are rising in subs rapidly. Like every single refresh is another sub. This is beyond what I thought I'd be at. I, my girlfriend could quote me. I said to her, this first year on YouTube was going to be a growth year and a learning year where I got, I was my, my prediction for this year, hit about 300 subs, get one sub a day, hit about 300 subs. We haven't even hit a quarter of the year and we might be breaking a thousand subs this week. Unreal beyond belief. Honestly, at the rate we're going, if you guys blow us up today, we could hit a thousand subs realistically by tomorrow. I, I have no, I'm not doubting anything. I'm not doubting myself anymore. My biggest mistake is doubting myself because clearly we're breaking we're breaking some new Madden YouTuber barriers right now. I don't think any other Madden YouTuber has grown this fast right away off the bat. I just, you guys have been amazing. Truthfully, the comments I get are unreal. There's little to no hate besides the guy who told me that I'm broke and I can't speak on, I, I can't, I shouldn't be a YouTuber making core methods. But besides the point, thank you guys. Guys, blow this video up. Comment down below, sub and like. Every comment and like is one step closer to our goals for all you guys that are here from the beginning. Remember, all you guys here from the beginning, you guys get to be here from the beginning to the end, and there won't be an end, okay? So, every inter everyone that's subbed watching this video, if you just, just comment and like, just drop it real quick, because every interaction you guys get ranks us. Like, that is what is blowing us up right now. It is you I couldn't, I want to tell you guys, I would tell you guys my stats on a separate day on Twitter right now, but you know, YouTube analytics are crazy right now, in my eyes. Now, anyways, guys, I'm going to get into this video. So, this weekend is so important for Madden players. I believe this weekend is going to be a big window for coin making. Now, what I'm about to show you right now requires some patience for a few days. Now, what I'm going to show you is, so I have like three theories for this weekend. And my theory is usually right. You guys don't, if you guys didn't listen to me in the beginning, you're going to be listening to me now. There's a reason why I haven't bought a bundle this year and my team's the way it is. As much as you guys want to say I'm broke. So, three theories, okay? First theory. You know what? If you guys want this card, it is going to be so cheap this weekend. And I believe you can resell it the next few days for way more. So, first guy that you're going to want to be on the lookout for this following weekend is the one and only Mikhail Vick. Look, okay, so currently he's going for 804k, right? This weekend when Legend Fantasy Packs drop, this card will be going for, I believe it will go to around 600k, maybe lower. I recommend you buy it and you resell on a middle day, like middle of the weekday. For about 800k, probably. You can probably make, you can probably flip this car for about 200k. Now, if you can't flip it, you just got the best quarterback for the rest of the game for minimal coinage. That's it. So that's already that's, that's one theory I have this weekend. I believe Vic and Lawrence Taylor are gonna drop. Now, Vic's gonna drop lower than Lawrence Taylor. My reasoning behind that is people don't understand this yet. Vic isn't that overpowered this year. It might sound dumb to you guys. At least this Vic, this Vic every year has broken the game, right? Now, the difference is here, we already have this Vic in hiding. This Vic is literally this Vic. The old, Madden has thresholds, right? So this year, they, they both break the throw deep. They both break the throw under pressure. They both do the throw on the run and the play action. They break all those thresholds. The speed's the speed by one and the throw power by two, but they max out to 99 anyways. The only difference on this card is speed, and it's only by like one or two at the end of the day when you power it up. So realistically, you have this Vic already. That is the reason why this Vic isn't above a million coins. This Vic is a fraud when it comes to every other year's. Every other year's Vic was game breaking, but the sad part was that they gave us the game breaking one month ago. So what are you gonna do, right? So, but this card's still gonna be valuable because it's a Vic. So I recommend you snipe this card out, come this weekend at the height of the pack, preferably around 10, 30 to one, somewhere between there. And if that doesn't work, you wait to a little later in the day when everyone's home from work and stuff. Now. First thing, Lawrence Taylor, I do not think will be getting any cheaper than this card because Lawrence Taylor is game breaking. He is a big upgrade over his already unguardable card, unblockable at all. Like that card was insane. So this, that Lawrence Taylor's gonna go for more, but you could probably get him around cheaper too. Now, if you guys want to see that, I'll show you real quick while I'm at it. This Lawrence Taylor is 900k. There's a reason why he's more money. I believe this card will come out to about 700k. Buy it, keep it, love it, or sell it. You're, you're, you can either flip it or you can keep it. Either way, you're getting a great deal. Now, theory number two. If you guys haven't seen my other few videos, go watch them. That will explain the theory. I'm not going to go over it in a third video because that would just be redundant, right? If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it at the end of this outro, or you can check it out from my other videos. Just go back there. So like I said, this set is going to be booming come this weekend. 
this set right here. If you guys have, if you guys don't know, go watch the video. This set pops out power up players. This weekend they're gonna be dropping the new power ups for the new MVPs. Maybe some free agent cards if they don't already have them. So when those new power ups come out, power ups are gonna be crazy expensive, and this set is gonna be popping. You're also gonna want to do the uh, get a player pack 500. And that's theory number two. Theory number three is typical sniping filters in general that I've talked about all year. The Ultimate Legends as a whole will be down. I believe this weekend is the weekend the market dies a bit more. Because as the Vic comes down, the Vic is like... Vic and Lord's Taylor is like the Glacier in the rest of the year of Madden. It's going to tear through this market. Because those cards are the going to be two of the best cards the whole year. As they come down, the market will follow down. Even with training, because those cards are determining the market. Those are the best cards. If the best cards get closer to the worst cards, that margin shrinks, they gotta get cheaper. So I think that these Ultimate Legends will be going down as they've been anyways. So this weekend's gonna be an awesome weekend for sniping Ultimate Legends. I'll show you the pricing right now on those. But stay on that Vic, stay on that Taylor, and don't forget that set. If you haven't seen it, go down like three videos ago. It's the video with like a, over 2,000 views. That video, go watch it. In the following video, watch that to know what sets to do afterwards. Now, to show you guys what I'm talking about with the Ultimate Legends, these Ultimate Legends right here, let's say the 96 and 97s, for reference, they're at 250k. So they're coming, see, as the they were just at 300k. As Vic is coming down, so were they. They were at 220. I told everyone to sell, uh, I told, no, they were at 300. I told everyone to sell, because when the Vic came out, they would go down, and they are going back down. Now, they're going to be going down even more. I believe this weekend when the packs come out, they might even hit 180 to 199 at the pinnacle of the pack drops. So, do not miss out on that opportunity. I believe every year, I can. I think a lot of people can test this, the best way to make coins is play the weekend, sell the week. That, if you don't understand what I'm saying by that, I mean, manipulate the weekend by use other people's impatience and turn it into your treasure. On Saturdays, people are impatient as hell. They log on, they see that their Kevin Green is no longer 250, it's 200. It's like the stock market, right? Oh my God, my, 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 my stock's going down. Sell now, sell now, sell now. And then people like me come in. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Come Wednesday, people are bored. Oh, no content, nothing to do. And these are where the market gurus come in. They're like, oh, we love the week. The week is when we get money from people. We make money off other people. It's like, you're like the Bernie Madoff, truthfully, of like Madden. It's it's ridiculous. Like you come in, I come in Wednesday, I'm like, all right. All these cards are back up to 280. I got them for 180. Thank you very much. And then you resell them. 280, 280, 280. Now those other people are like, damn, why'd I sell my cards? That was such a dumb idea. Oh, I should have held them. And I'm sitting there like, no, thank you very much. I just bought Michael Vick off my profit off you. That is why I still have 50 points in my account since day one of this channel. I don't buy bundles. It's just not necessary anymore. Sorry if I'm going off on a tangent right now, but just try You guys got to understand. Packs are dumb, in my opinion. If they're fun for you, enjoy them. That's, that's fun. But if, you, if they just frustrate you, stop doing them. If, if it's all about making coins, Endgame is making coins for you like me. Making coins and being efficient, packs are dumb. The, the house always wins. Look it up. No matter in life, the house always wins. And even if you win once, you're going to lose 20 more times. I, I might sound like I'm a pessimistic guy, but I'm not. I'm just being smart. So trust me, any market guy can tell you this. Play the, pl play the promos, play the weekends, play the days when packs come out. During early in the year, it was every day of the week, possibly, because there was content every day. So, like, when the team of the weeks come out, when the packs came out, you bought, bought, bought. The next day, you sold, sold, sold. Now, with content being more stretched, so, like, weekend and weekday. So, weekends, things drop. Weekdays kind of dry. So, I recommend you snipe this weekend the MVPs, the team builders, the Ultimate Legends. And then come the weekdays, you wait till it rises. You, 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 you realize when it rises to a point where the market, you know the day? You know that day is like a Wednesday and the market's just slow as hell. You can't even get a good price. Cards are overpriced. What is going on? That night, you just sell them all. What I used to do in older Maddens was, me and my friend, we had this method. We'd buy our teams on Saturday mornings when the Legend Packs came out, our whole entire team. And then Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday-ish night, we'd sell them all for like a 20% markup, and our team would go from 500 k to worth 700 k we do it again. Our team would go from 700k to worth a million coins. Million point one. I never had a team. So truthfully, the best thing that ever happened to Madden was training. Because if it was up to me, I would never have a team. I have an issue. Like, I genuinely get obsessive with the market to the point where I actually don't have a team ever. Like, in every Madden every year, I don't play the game. I'm literally like this all day. Like a zombie. Refresh. 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 Snipe. Snipe. Hello. I got a snipe. I got a snipe. Okay, my team's up. Like, that's me. I'm glad they added training because that has made me actually, this is why I played the game this year. They added training, so it's just it's just dumb to get rid of your team. But that's the only thing keeping me from doing that. I know a lot of you guys don't even have training cards. Like A lot of you guys genuinely just buy cards. And if you do that, good for you because you can make so many coins that way. You buy them at 250, let's say, 
Or no, you have a 30k card. You buy a 30k, you sell it overnight for 40k. And you buy it again, and you sell it overnight. You can literally make 10k a night that way. And if you have 20 cards, you can make like 100k a night. I used to make like 100k every night. I'd probably waste in stupid ways, but it was it was definitely worth it. That's how I built up for cards. I'd do it every night for two weeks, and I'd get a 400k card. Okay, I'm probably been rambling for quite some time, so I'm sorry for that. But this is very, very useful information. So don't forget, theory one, Vic and Lawrence Taylor. Theory two, follow my coin making method that I, I prepared you guys for Sunday. I prepared you guys in now three videos. Be ready for Sunday. Theory four, or theory three, I should say. Sorry for that. Theory three, I manipulate the Saturday and the Sunday, and then profit the rest of the week. That is pretty simple, guys. So that's about it for this video. I've dragged it long enough. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Keep blowing me up. You guys are absolutely the best. Like, I couldn't thank you guys more. Remember, guys, all you guys here before 1K are going to be able to say from here all the way to 100,000 subs that you guys are here before 1K. You guys won't want to miss that. You guys are going to you guys are gonna be happy to know that you're going to be able to hit me up in DMs whenever you want because I'll remember all the... Remember, right now, 500 people is not that much. It is to me, but in reality, 500 people, I know your names. I know the majority of my subs that talk... If you talk to me, I know your name. I remember you, and I remember our... I remember your... I have like a... A connection already with you guys i already talked to you i know your personalities i know what you guys like what teams you guys have i know what your favorite team is now after a thousand subs it's gonna get a lot harder i'm not going to interact as much per se with everyone as i did now i i interact personally like i answer you guys on a per video basis i i literally text you guys people have my snapchat like i'm that close with a lot of you guys so just remember get there now blow me up to a thousand by let's see let me give you guys another goal what's today the 13th a thousand by the 17th can you guys handle that Get this video to 100 likes and 1,000 subs by Friday. I keep bringing it that it was May, then it was next week. Now, let's go for Friday. Today's Wednesday. No, okay, take it back. Sunday. Let's go for Sunday. The 16th or 17th, either or. Can we hit 1,000 by then? I think we can. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.